Oh, look what we have here. Somebody who has some clothes on, nicer clothes, and someone who's got some food on his belly, even though they just learned how to cook just a second ago. Hello, everybody. My name is David. You can call me Zen, and welcome back to another episode of Tales of Arise. In the last episode, we got some new clothes for Iron Mask over here, and we are currently on our way to going ahead and get clothes for Xion. This time, we're going to be entering an old Re uh, Renim facility. I believe it's actually this way. And we are going to go on and see if we can find anything for Xion here. This must be it. Looks pretty ancient, but I recognize Renan architecture when I see it. It's seen some beatings. If it stayed sealed all this time, it's not because people left it alone. It's not just their technology. The Renans build their structures out of special materials, too. Strong enough to withstand assaults from Danon tools and weaponry, anyway. So how the hell are we... Oh, yes, the glowing eyes. It's basically free real estate at this point. Easy. All right, so with that with that said, we basically just got a free pass into the Renan facility. We basically just have to have Xion here every single time, which is fine. Anyways, we have a new, um, what are those called? Skits. That may not have been a fancy feast we just had, but I don't remember the last time I felt this full. Do the Renans often not give you all enough to eat? It's never enough. The Renans decide exactly how much we'll have and when we'll have it, and that's that. We do our best to get around it. Everyone has to grow their own food and such behind the Renans' backs in order to get by. Thinking about it now, I wonder if they've always kept it meager so we would never have the energy to try to resist what they've done to us. Yeah. An empty stomach takes its toll on the body and the spirit after a while. How does a Renan like you know what it's like? I may be Renan, but they don't like me either. I could be squeaky clean and they still wouldn't give me anything. Uh, uh, oh, wait, wait, was that her stomach growl? That's great. Stomach just... I didn't hear anything. But you just ate. How are you already? I said I didn't hear anything. I, I, I like the very subtle blushing that I is in her expressions with that skit. Do you want it? Sure. That's cute. That's that's actually insanely cute. I, I really like that. Anyway, let's go on ahead and so I'm guess you know, words are just hard like today. It's 11 o'clock at night. Don't, sort of don't, don't, don't hurt me. Even dates back to the great conquest of three centuries ago. All right. So we have our goal. We have our little roly polies. It's been, it's been a little bit since I last played. So I'm going to go ahead and get into some combat and just get destroyed, I guess. So the thing that I'm learning is that um, it feels like the inputs are like buffered to a degree when I do combat, which I mean, it's not world ending, but I realize that if I want to get like a specific like input combination going, then um, we to pull through. then I absolutely have to make sure that I am doing like taking my time with my inputs, which compared to like fighting game titles that I've played in the past where I have to be a little bit more fast and almost almost aggressive with my um button inputs it's a very it's a very fine line to balance it's not like a world ending situation by any means but just just an observation that i've noticed nicely done anywho this is actually um the first day that i've done some recording for this game after i've um after I've put together the past couple of vid um, past couple of videos for the from the first session, all three of them are actually up and ready to go on the interwebs. But I want to make sure I take some time to talk about that. I actually haven't decided on a bit of a release cadence for this series yet, just because historic um, historically speaking, I know I've always taken on way too much as a creator and. I want to make sure that I don't burn out of the game by the time I'm like reaching the end of it. And a part of that's probably just going to be like a bit of a mental readjustment because one of the biggest uh, one of the biggest issues that I've had while like recording games, right? 
is that I'm typically used to having the attention span for like multiple games at the same time, but when it comes to creating uh, a series for one game, um, it my attention span I'm not built that way. I've had this issue a couple times while streaming. I've had a couple of issues this time while recording, and it's a very difficult thing for myself to just find a good solution to. So. Hopefully, maybe with a bit of a slower release cadence and then, you know, streaming or variety games and just ultimately making sure that I'm not just getting sick of playing this game, uh, that I just make sure that I'm just having a good time. It's it's a bit weird, I guess. And fun funnily enough, uh, one of the things I actually like talking about is like the behind the, behind the scenes for being being a creator because i don't think a lot of creators talk about it all that much just because um it's almost like a gate kept knowledge thing because uh, you know a lot of people want to be creators and they want to be successful and so it's one of those things that it's very rare to see a lot of people try to help but it's funny enough it's there's a lot that really kind of goes into it I know that one of my favorite creators for a long time, and he was a, he was in wake of recent, recent controversy, so I won't name names. Um, he went into a very, very long in-depth video about how he does his projects, and some of them he even plans out to being almost a year out, which I find absolutely bonkers, <laughs> because I don't because in the past, I guess I've picked games on a whim, and because I normally do blind projects more often than not, um, it may be led to where I may be playing a game that I was really excited for, but it might not be the same game that I had initially anticipated, which ultimately ends up meaning that um, I may not enjoy like making a video series on it, and I'm not going to try to force myself to like force myself to make content around it because ultimately if you guys notice i'm not having a good time then oh ew, not good at timing that yet but if you guys notice that i'm not having a good time then you're not gonna have a good time because you obviously tell that i'm just feeling a certain way about the about the videos and the and the series as a whole Looks and like that's just not a good time for um that's not a good time for everybody so I want to make sure that I that I do better in that regards, and unfortunately, it's one of those things that's probably going to take some time for me, which is weird. Um, wait, where's that door that I just unlocked? Is it the one that's over over here? Can I jump across? I didn't actually try. Okay, wait, no. He could have easily made that. Wow. Okay. All right. I I strongly believe that he could have easily made that jump, but it's whatever. But other than that, let me talk at least about what I thought about the game so far. Now that I've kind of replayed, well, now, now that I've been replaying it, I've gotten a little farther than my past little recordings. I. I still am very worried about how this game wants to tackle the subjects that it's currently tackling. I think having the whole slave aesthetic, that, ooh, aesthetic's not a good word. Not a good word, I'm so sorry. But using this um, slave-driven narrative, right, is very, very risky because you can end up and I think I mentioned this in the first episode, is that I do think that these stories are important to tell so that way, you know, in in a weird way, you don't end up repeating the same thing over and over. And I think that that's very, very important. As somebody who originally wanted to pursue history for te um, potentially for teaching, I'm not a teacher now, by the way. I do something completely different, but when I had an initial interest in teaching, um, that is one of the things I really like thought about. I found 
found some equipment. Pierce emblem? Sorry. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Take a look at it. I think that's gonna be good for Iron Mask over Shion just because I think Iron Mask does more physical damage. But kind of hard to say. Anyway though. Of uh, yeah, I actually went to school for computer science and not history. But in the times that I have taken history, I've always found it interesting. At least, um, as someone who's who lives in the U.S., just how often we end up repeating the same mistakes. And I do think taking the opportunity to discuss stories like like this one has the potential to do some good, but could also do just as much harm if they're not careful about it. And it's taken me some time to kind of. Assess that for myself. I'm amazed you got and I think so far we're okay. I think we gotta see how the rest of the game kind of pans out. Um, a lot of Tales games divide their game up into three acts, and historically the third act has been kind of eh. So we'll kind of see if that follows the same trend here. My brief amount of online reception says the third the third act of this game is going to get a little eh, but if I enjoy the entire experience, I enjoyed the entire experience, right? Listen, I get it. You care how you look, but we've got places to... I love this outfit, by the way. I just, I just want to point that out. She's so pretty. What is it? I don't know. I. Uh, oh, she got a new gun too. We've kept Zephyr and the others waiting long enough. We should head back. Yeah. Goodness. I actually really like her outfit. In a good mood. Were you that happy to find a new outfit? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm the same as ever. <gasps> uh, I, I had to listen to that one. I had to listen to that little bit of di uh, dialogue between the two. I think that's funny. But we have a new skit. Let's go ahead and take a look. You said before that this probably used to be a supply depot, right? That Nay thought it was a Renan castle. I wonder what it actually is. Who knows? Who knows? What, can't I not know something? <laughs> you didn't think I knew every last thing about my own kind, did you? I didn't say that. <sighs> from what I've heard, a lot of the materials that were initially brought over from Rena 300 years ago were repurposed for other things over time. So it's entirely possible that this place used to be both a supply depot and a lord's castle at different points in time. They're not mutually exclusive. I couldn't tell you when the Lord's Castle moved to its current location, though. Well, satisfied? Uh, it, yeah. Thank you. You know, for telling me about all that. Uh, it's not like I mentioned anything that useful. Come on, let's keep moving. Their dynamic is so interesting because obviously they, they come from different sides of the uh different sides of like their worlds obviously so having having them work together was a very very cool call and i do think that it's interesting wait 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 right, why were their mobs suddenly oh right because of the because i went into a new room that wasn't very very cash money Anyway, as, as I was saying, we'll, we'll kind of ultimately see where the, the game's narrative ultimately falls. I know what my favorite Tales game is. Right now, it is currently the original Symphonia. But I mean, I'm always open to something new. And so we'll kind of see what happens. I'm very interested to see if um, how well this game holds up to the other Tales games and if... Um, if uh, the brain, if my brain works. So how not only it holds up to the other Tales games, but just also um, just how it has stacks up to other JRPGs as a whole. This came out in 2021, a year where not a lot of JRPGs came out. 
and we'll just kind of see where get back to things um, hold. Yeah, we better. We don't have time to waste. Someone's in a hurry. And thank goodness we actually have fast travel now, which is something that I have wanted for quite some time, actually. It looks like we do have a new sub quest if we actually go out and head over to Ulzbek. Oh, OK. And then, oh, that's nice. So one of the things that they. Wait, so how do I? Oh, OK. <coughs> one of the things that they have as a note is if there's a sub quest that I haven't started or done yet, it actually just shows up here. Destination. So let's go ahead and do the sub quest before we go on with the main story. Hmm. Hey, you're the iron mask that Zephyr brought in, yeah? Can I ask you a small favor? Sure, what is yeah. it? I appreciate you being so quick to help. Here's the deal, we're running short on food. Okay, granted, it's something of an ongoing problem around here. The soil around here doesn't have much to offer and our crops are doing even worse than the usual lately. I wouldn't ask you to go fetch anything crazy, just some wheat and potatoes would help plenty. How's this? Will this be enough to tide you over? We found um, found it outside of town. That's exactly what I'm looking for. You sure I can have it? As much as we need fresh fruit that grows out in the wild, I can't just ask anyone to go pick it with all the zoogles running around. So don't mind if I go ahead and help myself to what you got. <laughs> you were a big help. We couldn't exactly afford to risk storing up a hornet's nest, reducing the bright eyes cut and all. With all this extra food, now we can feed all the kiddos who have gone who have to go hungry as of late. Glad to hear it. Just happy to do what I can to help. <laughs> I might not be able to see your face, but I can tell that you're a good soul. I don't have much to offer you in return, but I can teach you a recipe that's really easy to prepare if you'd like. If you're talking about one that uses wheat, I already know okay. that. Okay, in that case, how about a potato recipe? This one also also simple to fix and tastes good. It's a lifesaver whenever you're hu real hungry. Sounds good. I'll give it a shot sometime. Great, you absolutely should. You can't operate in tip-top shape on an empty stomach. We got some money, we got some SP, and we got um, another, a third thing. Um, the steamed potato recipe. Sorry for the side trip. We got to learn a new dish. I'll take what I can get, really. Let's cook it next time we make camp. Is that why she went along with? Okay. So this let's go. Um, like let's go ahead and take a rest at the inn, and also make sure that we don't have too much going on. I don't. Oh, Kamadi, I'm sweet. I think that we should hold on to probably the vast majority of our materials just because we probably have access to crafting soon enough. So let's go ahead and cook before resting. And we can go on ahead and make a steamed potato with uh, Xion. This should definitely keep you guys full. All right, sweet. So we have 15 minutes of that meal. I don't know if the what I need to figure out is if the timer goes on during battle or if it's something that like will continue on in the overworld. Like if I left this game on for 15 minutes, like. Will this be an issue? Who knows for now? Let's go ahead and talk to Zephyr, who I'm pretty sure who has a, probably a plan by now. Crap! Zephyr, we've got a huge problem. Something bigger than our attack on Balsaf's castle? Because I don't have time to worry about anything else, right? Yes, bigger than that. The Bright Eyes, they've started massacring folks all over Calaglia. They must be after her master core. Guess the enemy must be serious about retrieving it. They must be if they're willing to kill the slaves, they need to harvest astral energy. Mosgul's got hit real bad. Hey. What? Are you sure about that? Positive. It's the closest town to where we attacked them earlier. I feel bad for our people there, but them some breaks. Bastards! Just where do you think you're going? You know where. Mosgul. What good is it going to do to... I mean, I was like, she... I was like, we... Oh, dang. Okay. All right, so we are now heading on our way back to our hometown, basically. We have to try to get there as soon as possible, right? But as soon as possible doesn't necessarily mean I can't just go on and get sidetracked now, can I? Because there are materials and there are mobs around. 
And it looks like because of the urgency of the situation, the battle theme didn't actually... Um, the, the battle theme isn't being played. Just to, I guess it's just to give that level of urgency, which is cool. I do love it when games do that, where the, the situation is so serious that you they make absolute certain that... Um, they make absolutely certain that, um, that you can feel the urgency of the situation, and I really probably shouldn't get sidetracked at the moment, but that's just the way that I've always played these games, so. Oh, okay, come on, I dodged that game, come on. Are you for real? I wonder though, something that I was thinking about to some degree is I wonder if we're going to be running into enemy Danons. This was something I actually didn't think about a lot at first when the dialogue got brought up that there are some Danons who don't like what we're doing. Because uh, assuming that that's true, that means that there are probably some Danons who are basically acting like Renans to really try to get ahead in life, so to speak. There probably isn't a lot of them. I want to, like, throw that out there, but that's kind of my initial theory. Okay, so if I vaguely remember this place, this was one of the areas where I can get a good amount of loot, so I'm just going to go around and open, it, um, open up chests and doors as I kind of see fit. How big is this area? Um, I was sad. I don't remember. I look at the map. So we have a lot of room. We'll be able to fully explore this area a little bit later, but let's not get sidetracked too much longer. Let's head back to Moskul and see what we can do to help. If he made it on time, at least. Ooh, this guy's tanky. But can I talk about how Iron Mask's VA is doing a fantastic job with delivering all the emotion that I can imagine someone would have, would feel in a situation like this? Voice acting seems to be very not necessarily. I don't want to say hit or miss, but I always have. I enjoy the dubs of like these types of uh, these types of games as well as just, like different animes, but we're kind of kind of always led to mixed results. Because I know I have a group of friends who do, do not prefer the dubs if they can help it, which it sucks because that sort of elitism is kind of garbage, stinky poo poo. But I mean, it it happens. Hey, hang in there. Uh, it was initially voice and I was talking over him, so gotta gotta make do where we can. All right, let's let's try our best to save all the um, all the residents. We have we have the power to fight, so why not fight? And that was a um, that was a waste of climbing. I don't know why I thought that that was gonna be something useful. But why did they decide to come here and like try to take everybody out? Please don't hurt the children. Damn it, I can't reach them in time. Alright, point us in the right direction, let's help. Alright, let's fight. This is just like this is crazy. The way that they are going out of their, uh, like, how badly they're going out of their way for Shion. But I wonder if this was more of a ploy to draw her out rather than, like, them actually, like, looking for her. Because they should have known for a fact that she wasn't here. Are you alright? What about the others? Are those bastards still here? Iron Mask, take it easy. 
It's all right now. <laughs> Most were able to escape, and we've survived. Honestly, we got off lucky. It's often worse when a resistance group pops up. Lucky? You call people getting slaughtered like this lucky? I'm guessing it used to be notably worse. This is how things go when you're a Danon slave. You're dead if you stand up to them. Keep your head down and do as you're told. At least then you have a chance to survive. But is it worth living like this? I guess is my question. You only have one life. That's why... I should wait for the right moment? Yes. So someone else dies instead while we live another day. Is that what you're saying, Doc? You're willing to risk everything on the chance that things will get better if we wait long enough. But what's the point of waiting if others have to die so that we can live? He's speaking facts. I really don't have anything else to add on to that. What do you think happens when someone tries to resist? It'd be one thing if the rebel died and that was that. But it never ends with only one death. You've seen it for yourself. Everyone suffers for it. Knowing that, are you really going to tell me our waiting has no meaning? Yes. But that's... I understand not wanting to throw away the same lives we're trying to protect. That would be senseless. But if you wait too long, if you get too used to waiting, then eventually you lose the will to fight. I don't want that to happen to me. I've already met the Crimson Crows. People who risk their lives to fight the Renan's rule. People who know they might not live to see us win, but fight anyway to give those who come after a better chance. If my life is at risk either way, then I'd rather spend it fighting. I find this like the third time he said like a variation of this statement right here. If my life is at risk either way, I'd rather spend it fighting. So you've decided to take up the sword? Yes, but not just any sword. It's a sword that only I can wield, but one that's also too powerful to use on my own. I doubt those who fought the Renans in the past ever had something like this on their side. That's why I'm willing to bet everything I have on this sword. I know it might mean more people end up in danger, but... Okay. If that's how you feel, then forget what I said. It's clear your time has come, Iron Mask. Currently, you and that sword are the only things capable of driving the Renans back. It's because of you that we're still alive right now. Okay, so I realized that he was talking about the flame sword, but that took me a notable amount of time longer to figure that if out. There's a way through this for all of us, then I'll put my trust in you to find it. Doc, thank you. Now, remember what you said, and don't ever abandon that conviction of yours, all right? Right, I won't. You've grown so much since we first met, and you've met some good people too. Maybe you have a chance after all. All right, we are we basically were able to save um, everyone in most school very, very quickly. Well, I, I wasn't I thought there's going to be more battles and like there was see this whole thing, because like I said, I don't remember too much of this section, but I'm glad that we were able to help everybody and kind of fix uh, everything up in time. So why don't we go on ahead and head back to Olzebek for now? I was trying to think of like what I was trying to say and my brain truly could not remember. Okay, let's head back to Ulzebek for right now and try to figure out exactly like what plan um, Zephyr may have for us in regards to storming the castle. You're back. Hurry on in. We've been waiting for you. You're not going to ask what happened? I can tell enough by the way you look right now. Yikes. And he doesn't have a, he doesn't have a ma he has his mask on so you can't even see his face to really get like a good expression. I see. Zephyr, I need to ask you something. Would you have invited me to join you even if I didn't have the blazing sword? Of course. Why though? There are many folks out there who are crazy enough to resist the Renans like we do. So when I find someone with the knack for it, I make sure to keep them close. Plus, you remind me of another guy we lost. Maybe deep down, I'm trying to help you as a way of making amends for what I couldn't do for him. That's very introspective of you, Zephyr. I appreciate that. But if you don't want this, just say the word. I'm not going anywhere. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't even be here. That's also so, true. All right, come on in. Thanks. 
Yes. Hey, Iron Mask. Can I have a minute of your What's time? Wrong? Hey, Darren. What, you, what do you need? Well, all you've been doing since you got here is fight, right? I'm starting to get worried about how your weapon's holding up. After all, you're about to fight Balsef. You will need to be prepared for whatever he might throw at you. Luckily, we happen to have a blacksmith here on site. You should see what he's got tempered. All right, I'll make sure to remember that. All right, side quest, forging from scratch. All right, let's give a little bit of priority to this. We've reached so, our destination. Let's go on ahead and consult with the blacksmith first. But where he at? Is the blacksmith in the inn? I would say hello. <laughs> I wasn't sure. Hey, you the blacksmith here? Yeah. Yeah. Dyron fill me in. In addition to farm tools, I can also make it weapons for the Crimson Crows. Knowing it's for you, I just have to help. I'll forge you the best weapon I can manage with the materials I've got. All right. So I do not have an astral crystal grain, but I do have some sharp fangs and some money. So I'm gonna go on ahead and craft the um craft the longsword. It's definitely looking like a huge upgrade so far, and then I can't make the thing for Xion either. So, unfortunately, I think that that's the only thing we're going to be able to make here. Not a big deal. <laughs> so, what do you think about this? Not bad at all. That's the most you'll get out of me right now. Bring me more materials and I'll whip you up something nice. grander. This is plenty enough grand as it is. I never knew the Zoogle parts were so good, versatile. Good. Thanks, glad to hear it. I'll leave the rest of it, the rest in your hands. Go give the Reina hell and set us free, okay? That's the plan. Forging from scratch. That's also complete as well. We've been on us. Have we making a lot of us? Have we been making a lot of progress this time? Structures and gadgets never cease to amaze me. Check out these handle grooves. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be seeing here. All right, everyone. Did you hear the hoo -hoo? It's time. Remember, eyes on the prize. We're after Balsef. Nothing else. Cut off the head, and the snake perishes. Hit them head on, however, and we won't make it through the castle gates, but alone reach Balsef himself. Luckily, we have an ace up our sleeve. We need to do everything in our power to make sure that ace reaches Balsef's jugular. Bad, bad choice of words. Bad choice of words. separate forces. You just said all of us hitting them head on would be useless. Why would we divide ourselves up? Because we're the decoys. We'll buy our ace in the hole the time they need to get in. We only need to cause enough of a ruckus around the castle to distract the enemy. That said, we need to look like the real deal. Which is why I'll be tagging along, too. You too, Zephyr? So, who's going to take on Balsef? The Iron Mask. I'm counting on you and Xion to make your way to wherever Balsef's hiding. Once there, you drive that flaming sword right through him. They've seen the power of the flaming sword, so he's putting a lot of faith in us. Those two, are you? One of them's a Renin. I get the skepticism. No I understand. The plan was perfect. True. By far, the biggest danger is the one you two will be facing. The fate of this quest rests entirely in your hands, which is why you get the final say. You want out? Now's the time to say so. And if we say no? Then you say no. Just means we're back to square one, that's all. And I go back to being a slave. It's your life. No, it isn't. Balls in your court, soldier. What do you say? Not talking about I, balls here is just not helping the situation whatsoever. Fight. But for what? What are you fighting for? To free the Danans from the yoke of their abusive oppressors. To no longer die at the whim of another. To break the shackles of our enslavers. To live and taste freedom! Now you're talking. 
I believe we have our ace in the hole, people. Hold on to that belief, and we just might break through that wall yet. And what about you? I was born ready. Now can we get this show on the road? I love her. I love her so much. <laughs> There's a gate on your right once you leave here. Go through it and ride the elevator you'll find. I'll send ahead a few friendly faces to keep watch on your way. If you get into any trouble, look to them for support. We all clear? Good. May this battle herald the end of the Renan's bloody three-century reign. Yeah, it was 300 years Your making, uh, at least for this region. 300, I'll say 300 years in the making. All right, we have this last skit, and then we're going to go on ahead and end things off, all right? I still can't believe this is happening. We're really about to face off against a Renan Lord. Well, you're in pretty high spirits for a guy going into a life and death battle. I'm not saying I'm not worried. But you have to remember, this is the first time any of us Danans have really had any hope. He's right. What about you? Are you scared at all? I don't have time to be scared. This is only the first step in a long, long plan of mine. You want to take down all five lords, right? It's hard to believe it'll ever happen. But it will. I know. I haven't forgotten our deal. See that you don't. That said, if we lose, we might suffer a fate worse than death, you know. That's probably true. But instead of worrying about it, wouldn't it be a better use of our time to figure out ways to avoid that and not lose? I suppose. Whatever happens, I'll put everything I have into winning. You can count on that. Well said. Alrighty. So, that's gonna be it for today. Thank you guys all so very much for watching today's episode of Tales of Rise. Next time, we're going to be storming the castle. Maybe we might even get to fight Balsef himself. I remember it taking a lot of time last episode, so I'm pretty sure it's going to be probably two parts. But who knows? Anyway, if you guys haven't already, go on ahead and leave a like or dislike or a comment on the um, on the video. Anyway, I'll say it's algor algorithmical. It lets me know if I'm doing something good or if I'm doing something bad. So... Thank you guys all so very much for today, and I will see you guys all in the next one. So, I'll see you guys then. Have a good one.